Hi, I'm Jenna Knox and I live in Athens, Georgia and I'm your tour guide to the South. And today we're going to make homemade mayonnaise. You know, mayonnaise is one of the most popular condiments in the South and we use it on absolutely everything. And making your own homemade mayonnaise is absolutely the simplest thing you can do. You can do it in less than five minutes. So to get started, we're just going to use a teaspoon of Dijon mustard and a juice of a half a lemon. And I like to roll my lemons just to get the juices going. You can also pop in the microwave if you want. The best thing about homemade mayonnaise, it is so simple to make, it takes less than five minutes. And the flavor is unbelievable. So we'll squeeze our lemon in the bowl. This just gives it that little bit of a tart flavor. And then we're gonna use a teaspoon of red wine vinegar. And you can use any kind of vinegar you like if you wanna use tarragon or white wine vinegar. Put that in there. And then we're gonna season with a little bit of salt and pepper. You can always add more to taste at the end. And then just a fresh egg yolk. And I love using the farm eggs that are from our local farmer's co-op. The yolks are absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just gonna crack this in here. You can really see how golden that is. It's beautiful. And I'll save the egg white for a little omelet in the morning. And we'll just put this in here and we just whisk it together. So it's a really a simple process. And again, the flavor is so delicious. We'll whisk these together. And then we're gonna add our oil. And I'm using a half a cup of canola oil and a half a cup of olive oil. And you can just do all canola oil if you want, but I love that flavor of the olive oil. It just gives it that kind of Italian twist that's absolutely beautiful with tomatoes. So we'll just slowly whisk this in and you can just watch it turn into this beautiful pale yellow mayonnaise. And it'll keep for about a week in your refrigerator because you are using the raw egg yolk. But I make it every Sunday afternoon and just have it around the house and you know, I put it on grilled fish, I put it chicken salad. There's all kinds of great dishes you can use with the homemade mayonnaise and the flavor, unbelievable. We'll keep whisking this. Now you can really see how this is starting to get really nice and thick and once you put it in the refrigerator, it'll get even thicker. And the smell is delicious. So this is just something great to have on hand in your refrigerator and perfect for sandwiches and all kinds of delicious, quick and easy appetizers to have on hand. See how beautiful this mayonnaise is. So this is definitely something you should try. In less than five minutes, you can have a great homemade mayonnaise. 